Hello, and welcome to Fiddle Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Basics of Routing. In this video, we're going to explain what network routers are and why we need them to deliver information. Networking is connecting one device like a computer to a resource like a printer or server. Since it is impossible to connect every computer directly to every potential resource that it might use, we give every network device an address and use routers to transport information in the form of packets to where they need to go. It is like when someone sends a letter from one house to another house in a different city. Suppose someone in Tampa, Florida wanted to send a letter to someone else in Hollywood, California. They could deliver the letter themselves, but the most cost-effective way to send it would be to put the letter in the mailbox, which would then be routed to a post office substation, and then to the main post office. The letter would be sent by airplane to California and brought to the main post office, routed to a post office substation, and finally brought to the address by the mailman. In this same way, Information is sent from one computer to a resource using networking addresses and equipment. In the illustration displayed, if the information that needs to be sent has an address that is local, meaning that it is nearby, it will try to send the information directly to the device using the switch. But if the information is remote, meaning that it is far away, then the computer will give the router the information and let it be in charge of finding the next step in sending the information to the device. The router is called the default gateway because if the destination is not on the local network, the router is the last possible route where the computer can send the information with the hope of getting it to the destination. Now, let's review some of the commands that we will be typing into the router. The enable command allows an administrator to go from the user exec mode to the privileged exec mode. The configure terminal command allows an administrator to go from the privileged exec mode to the global configuration mode. The interface fast ethernet command allows an administrator to configure a specific interface. The IP address command allows an administrator to assign an IP address to a specific network interface. The clock rate command provides the necessary timing when using a serial interface. This command is not needed for Ethernet or fast Ethernet interfaces. And finally, the no shutdown command activates a specific interface. Now I'll give a very basic demonstration on how the router might be configured. Here we have a computer connected to a router through a fast Ethernet connection. We can pull up a terminal window and access the router. To configure the router, first we have to go from the user exec mode to the privileged exec mode. And then from the privileged exec mode to the global configuration mode. We are going to configure the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 with an IP address and then activate it. I have already configured the IP address of the computer, so let's send the ping packet from the router to the computer to see if they can communicate with one another. First the ping packet leaves the router and goes to the computer, and then it returns to the router. Success. The router and the computer are able to communicate with one another. Notice the explanation marks indicating that the ping packet has returned to the router.
In this video, we looked at the basics of how to configure a router. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.